or it happened in Africa very early on, and for whatever reason, the ones that had three premolars in Africa didn't survive. Maybe it was only, you know, 2% of the population that had that, but it just so happened due to chance sampling, remember that phrase, that some of that 2% wound up uh, populating a new place, and they therefore wound up with that characteristic. So, uh, looking at the New World Bunch, there are other distinctions that we can draw. Uh, first of all, of course, there is the, um, the fact of their nostrils, which gives us their name, flat nose or down nose here. And here you can see in this picture that there are three premolars in this New World monkey and two premolars in this Old World monkey. You know, just glancing at that, that wouldn't necessarily be something that you would uh, pick up. But when, uh, when we talk about New World monkeys, then we're talking about all the ones that exist in South America and Central America. Here is the, uh, the current geographic spread of two world monkeys. Uh, living platypedes are in all of these uh, dashed areas up through Central America here. And uh, the uh, fossil platypedes go farther south here. But this is the current region that's very heavily forested and uh, or close to very heavily forested areas in South America. The whole Amazon basin there. So uh, new world monkeys, there are lots of different species. They're divided into a couple of main groups. I don't care that you remember the names of all these groups, but we're just going to, I'm just going to show you that they exist and we will talk specifically about this subgroup. It's a, it's a different family of New World monkeys called the Calatricidae, and then there are two other ones, the Atelidae and the Tevidae. Um, so there are reasons that we divide these up. We can get more into that. Uh, we're just going to look at some of the, uh, the general characteristics of species of New World monkeys and uh, talk about some of the differences that they have. One of the things we can see, uh, this is meant to be a picture of a forest showing lots of different kinds of platter, platterpene species in uh, the region of, or the forest of Suriname, which is on the northern coast of South America. I'll point out where it is on this map here. There's for your information. Um, basic geography lesson here. Uh, South America, you got your uh, Colombia, Venezuela, you got uh, French, uh, French, uh, French Guiana. Um, you've got uh, yeah, French Guiana and Suriname and then Guiana there and so the forest extends up to there so if you look at the forest in Suriname then you can see an example of sympatric speciation obviously it's a black and white drawing but you can see there are lots of different kinds of critters there they're doing different things some of them are living down low in the forest some of them go down on the ground some of the time and scurry around for food some of them leap around like the little squirrel monkeys there. Uh, some of these woolly monkeys uh, fly around in the kind of midsection of the forest. Some live in the upper stories of the forest. There are all of these different areas of the same forest, and yet these are different species. They have different appearance, they don't interbreed together, they eat different foods, they have different feeding patterns and mating patterns. That's all happened due to sympatric speciation in the same area of forest. Um, and we know this because uh, there appear to have only been a few ancestral species to these South American primates. And through time, changes have accumulated and uh, they've reproduced until we have uh, lots and lots of different species of New World primates. Um, We'll look at a couple of pictures here 
of some New World monkeys. This, uh, this is a Mariki that lives in Brazil. Uh, this is a, uh, this is a capuchin monkey. This is a uh, wakari, which is kind of weird looking. Doesn't have any hair on its head. Saki monkeys and wakaris have these bald heads. Who knows why? Some female wakari thought that was really hot, <laughs> I guess. Um, the you know, first guy that started uh, male pattern balding, they loved it. And so then you wind up with guys like this. Um, and then we look at an exception among the New World monkeys. And I'll put this up for now, but I've got some better pictures. This is, uh, these are golden lion tamarins. Golden lion tamarins. And golden lion tamarins <laughs> and other tamarins and another group <coughs> called marmosets. <laughs> Tamarins and marmosets all along.